Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to add Paystack as a payment gateway or payment method for your Shopify store. So to actually do this is quite simple. So be sure to stick through the end of the video so you too can integrate this payment method to your store. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So the first thing that you guys need to do is once you're logged into your Shopify um, dashboard as an administrator, we're looking to get access to the payments tab. Now the payments tab can be found um, under settings and the settings um, option can be found on the bottom left corner of your screen like so. So you guys simply want to click on this and here you'll see all of the details pertaining to your Shopify store. So between users and permissions and the checkout tab, you'll find payments. So from here, you have two options, either adding choose a provider or adding a new payment method under support payment methods for Shopify. So depending on where you guys may live, uh, the results for th this may vary, but because we're looking to add Paystack, you'll see here that it doesn't actually show up, as you can see. Even if I do something like um, search by provider, Paystack, so it's not here. Now the option that we can do here is adding a bigger platform that includes Paystack as a payment method. And to do so, you guys would want to click on payments again, so actually wait for this to load, look on choose a provider, like so, and type down 2C2P. Actually, wait, I'm on the wrong page. It's under here, 2C2P. Wait for it to load. Hold on. Okay, so here we are, 2C2P. And you'll see that there are a couple of different payment methods supported by this platform right here, 2C2P. So there's Visa, there's MasterCard, American Express, there's Cover Card, JCB, Diners Club, Rupay, Visa Electron, UnionPay, and so on. Now, uh, Paystack is actually included in this one. I've tested it myself. So all you guys have to do is click on this payment method and install it on your store. So I already have it installed, so I don't need to do the same thing again. But it's pretty, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Just install it, and you guys are done. So yeah, hopefully this video helped you guys out. And thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.